Hi, I'm Mark Littler. I'm an independent antiques consultant and whiskey broker. I set up my business in 2016, and since then I've helped sell millions of pounds worth of antiques and whiskey for my clients. When you're looking to buy a cask of whiskey, a lot of the research that throws up comparisons between casks of whiskey and other mainstream investments such as the FTSE or the London property market. Now, yes, these are all three different types of investment, but comparing them like for like is misleading. I think, and I'm going to explain to you now why I think this is. There are several main differences between casks of whiskey and other mainstream investments like property or stocks and shares. And the first one is income. Stocks and shares and properties give you annual income through dividends or rent. Casks of whiskey do not. The next point is opacity. If you're looking to buy or invest a considerable sum of money or any money into a fund, you can research the fund manager, you can research the performance of that fund, you can research the performance of the sector easily online within a matter of minutes. Likewise for property, you can look at the, the, the history of prices of houses that have sold historically on that street compared to other streets, is there any other investment going on in the area? There's lots of open research that you can do. With casks of whiskey, as you've probably found by finding these videos, there's almost no open information about the, ca the cost of a cask of whiskey. The third main difference between casks of whiskey and other investments such as stocks and shares and property is liquidity. If you need to withdraw £10,000 from your portfolio of stocks and shares, this can be done almost instantly for a small brokerage fee. Now you can't do this with a cask of whiskey. You either have the whole product and sell the whole product, or you don't. There's no way to take a chunk out and sell it. The fourth and major difference between casks of whiskey and other investments are, is the fact that you can't actively trade them. You are allowed to legally buy a cask of whiskey for personal use, keep it in bond for several years, or several casks, keep it in bond for several years, and then sell the asset at another point. What is not allowed by HMRC is the regular trading of casks. So you can't make a habit of buying a cask and then selling it two or three weeks later or years later, then buying some more and selling them on again because you'll become what's known as a revenue trader in the eyes of HMRC. So you will need to obtain a very costly and lengthy WAUGA certificate. Casks of whiskey can be a fabulous financial investment. From experience, we've helped a customer who bought a cask for 3,000 pounds in the early 90s, sell it for 150,000 pounds. That's a huge, huge profit. But it's, oh, we only advise investing in casks of whiskey if you're financially secure and you can afford to tie up your capital for 15 to 30 years. I hope you found this video useful and there are another nine videos in this series. If you've got any questions about a cask that you're looking to buy or indeed would like our help to buy a cask, then please visit the website and get in touch.